All right, so today we're going to be discussing Hall systems, and with that comes mechanical advantage. A great formula to understand this system is work is equal to force times distance. In this case, force is our pulling power, and distance is the rope travel through the system. That creates the work, which is our mechanical advantage. So here, to help explain this, I have a fixed point with some weight and my arm. As I pull, so that's force, with one Jeff arm, on the other side of this system, one Jeff arm is holding up these carabiners. So as I pull, I use a one Jeff arm and a one Jeff arm. And at that directed, redirected point, we have two Jeff arms pulling the weight of these carabiners. So this is a two to one simple pulley system. A lot of times you'll see people redirect the rope and not all redirects are the same. When we redirect weight through a anchor, all it's doing is adding more weight to the system. So for example, if I am pulling up on a system and I redirect to the anchor so that I can pull down easier. If I do this, the weight of the carabiners plus my arm as I pull down puts extra force onto the anchor. So in this system, as I pull with one Jeff arm, one Jeff arm is being pulled up on the other side, the same amount of force. So this is a one to one system with no mechanical advantage. The issue here is that the weight on both sides is increasing force on the anchor. Okay, so now that we have that general concept of mechanical advantage, let's apply this to a three to one pulley system. This is a great system for hauling or assisting climbers through cruxes um, or steeper sections of rock. I'll start by grabbing a friction hitch. For hauling systems, I like to use the Prusik. It grabs well to the rope and is strong. So I created a Prusik on the load line of the system. And now I can take a carabiner, it doesn't have to be a locking carabiner, and have that as my attachment point. From here, using the brake side of the belay, I'll redirect through my tractor, my friction hitch, and then use that as my pull. So in this system right here, we've created a three to one mechanical advantage. And what that means is for every three lengths that I pull out, one length of rope will pull the climber up. So I work a little bit longer but the three to one also means that I'm only using a third of my strengths. I could pull a hundred pounds and just pull the climber up or using this system, I can pull 33.333 pounds and do the same amount of work. So again, I'll pull up and as I pull, rope goes through the device and then it catches as I move the climber higher up the pitch. So let's count this. In order to understand mechanical advantage, 
it's nice to understand how we get this three to one. So think of me pulling as one unit of force. I like to use Jeff arms. So I pull on this strand and on every opposite side of a redirect, I get the same number because what I apply on one side of force interacts on the other side. So one and on the other side one creates a two at the bend point. So remember that this is a two. And as we travel through the rope, this is a one, it goes around the anchor and I get a one here. So a one is pulling on the climber. And then when we get to our tractor, remember that because of this bend, it creates a two in terms of pulling force. So in front of that system, we have a three. So we have a three to my one pull, three to one. Okay, so now that we've gone through mechanical advantage and the three to one system, let's explore some other options for creating mechanical advantage. The first one we'll create is a five to one mechanical advantage. Without using other attachment points, I'll just girth hitch my double length sling to the master point carabiner and I'll change how I pull in my system. So what I've done in this five to one is incorporated a two to one system into my rope three to one system. So what I've done is added components into the system. And as we do so, I don't change the amount of force that I pull at the start point. And therefore we add the three and the two to one system together we create a five to one pulley system. So what that looks like if we count it, is we have a one and a one goes down to a two. And that's the rope. Now remember on this side, we still have to count the one. So from the two, as I pull in the system, we start pulling and this is a two. So on every redirect, we have to have a two on the other side. So this carabiner then adds to a four. So two and two is four. That means that the tractor at the bottom is pulling with four units. And again, going back to my initial pull of one, this rope right here is pulling with one unit. So that means at the climber, we're pulling with a four and a one. So we add to the system to create a five to one pulley system. Another very useful tool for hauling systems is the backside of your tether clove hitch. We can use this as a fixed point to pull, increasing our mechanical advantage. So just like in the previous five to one system, I'll use the rope only to show the same five to one system. So I need to create a two to one pulley using the back side of my clove hitch. I'll create an attachment point using another clove hitch to a non-locking carabiner. And then I'll attach the brake strand of the system and create my five to one pulley system. Now this is the same system, just much harder to see the different components working together. So I'll take some time 
to count out all of the systems. Now, can you count this system and tell me what the mechanical advantage is? All right, so now let's talk multiplying forces into mechanical advantages and seeing what that does. So we have our simple three to one system and I want to increase the amount of force I pull at the start. In order to do that, I need to create a system that helps me pull. A great way to think about this is to go back to systems in our previous videos. So to help me pull two times as much strength in the beginning, I can use a fixed point off my tether and create a two to one system. So where I pull, my pull force now multiplies my strength. I have a one and a one to create a two. And this is my pulling power. And a two and a two on this side because of the bend creates a four. As I work up into the system, we have another bend and on the climber's side, I now have a two in the system, which is different than previous times. This used to be a one. My tractor has a four, the climber strand has a two. Therefore, in the front, we have a six to one mechanical advantage. All right, so it's quiz time. Can you take a guess? as to what mechanical advantage is in this system. Leave a comment.